So welcome back guys to another video and in today's video I wanted to kind of give some advice to some collectors. Uh, now this is mainly going to be for a lot of new collectors because I think uh, if you've been collecting games for a while, if you've been watching YouTube videos for a while, you probably already know about this wonderful website called the coverproject.net. Now I've mentioned this website numerous times in my videos in the last couple of years but I've actually wanted to make a video dedicating myself to this site and just kinda letting you guys know what this website's all about now what's interesting about game collecting is it's your collection you can do what you want there's certain things that people do like some people like to get all their games in the original boxes and manuals have everything complete in box some people don't care they just like having cartridges uh, me personally I'm kind of weird. There's certain things I don't care about. Like, I can have as many loose NES carts as I want, as many loose SNES carts as I want, uh, Genesis. Uh, the main thing is that really bothers me are carts that have no uh, name labels at the top. Uh, a good example would be like the Sega Master System. Like, here's my copy of Miracle Warriors. Uh, you know, when you're having it on the shelf, you don't know what it is. There's no, there's no label there. Also, uh, Doom for the 32X. A lot of 32X games have no uh, top label. Same with N64, and it, it it's kind of an eyesore for me because you know when I'm having them on the shelf, I don't want to have to sit there and go through them and and try to find them. And yeah, you can buy like a label maker and put it on top, but that just seems kind of tacky in my in, in my opinion. So I found this website. And pretty much the coverproject.net is a community forum based off of just making covers for old video games and new video games as well. They also have, you know, current gen and last gen like Xbox 360, PS3, and the Wii. You can get all this stuff uh, printed out and you can just put them in slip covers. Um, so, like, say Doom right here has no top label, it's kind of an eyesore. I can go and print off of the coverproject.net and I can actually have a full scanned cover and I I used an old uh, Genesis case for this and I mean it's it's awesome same with when I had a copy of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on the Sega Master System and that's that's really really cool also uh, disc games you know when you're going to a, a flea market pawn shop what have you there's a chance you might find disc based games that for some reason they didn't want to hold on to the jewel case or to completely throw away the DVD case. I mean, I don't really understand why people do that, but it happens. And if you were like me in the past, you would see that case or you would see that game and you're just kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to buy it or not because I, I kind of want to have it uniform in my collection. Well, the cover project has you covered with that. No pun intended. Uh, like this right here, Sonic Adventure. I found this loose at a pawn shop and, and the thing it was like in a, a normal jewel case with no cover but when you go on the coverproject.net you can actually print it out it's got you know the full back to it yes it's a DVD it's not original but it's kinda nice and what's really cool about you know the DVD cases with Dreamcast games is if you have a manual you can just put it right in close it up and put it on your shelf and it's really really convenient same thing with uh, you know Sega CD and Sega Saturn games I love the boxes that they come in the big jewel boxes but the problem is they'll get uh, cracked very easily it's like the plastics like super thin so you can actually print them out in DVD cases like I had this copy of Lunar uh, you know, found that at a flea market. You know, if I was to see this a couple of years ago at a flea market, just the disc alone, I would have bought it, but I would have felt really bad that I didn't have a case for it, but now I do. Also, uh, Daytona USA, you know, uh, I got a nice little cover for that as well. I got a lot, a lot of my Saturn games are in DVD cases, just for the sure fact that it's hard to find uh, complete in box Sega Saturn games that are for a good price that don't have any uh, cracks or anything like that and the last thing I want to talk about that's really cool is Game Boy Game Boy Advance 
and DS games. You know, these little cartridges, it's like people just threw the boxes away and they put all these carts in like little albums or little containers and, and that's well and good and some people just enjoy doing that for some reason but with the cover project you can get original Game Boy in Game Boy cases like that's uh, Castlevania Legends right there and uh, again fits right in DS cases I mean you can alter it so it fits in a little bit better but I just put it in there and just put it on the shelf Game Boy Advance is great for DS cases uh, you know, I got, you know, the Four Swords Legend of Zelda. What's cool about the DS cases is they have a little slot right here for the Game Boy Advance, so you can just put them right in there. And I actually have, like, 25 DS cases, this blank cases in a box over here, just for the sheer fact that if I go out game chasing and I find some loose Game Boy Advance games, like maybe, like, Chrono Trigger or, or you know, Ninja 5 -0, I wish... You know, if I find something like that and I find it loose, I'll buy it and I'll already have a case for it. So, this is a really great website for you guys to check out. And I will say this, the only cons to doing this is once you start, you don't really want to stop. I mean, it's it's one of those things, like, especially if you want your uh, collection to be very uniform and have everything the way it is. You Once you start it, you have to just keep doing it. And... Also, if you don't have the best printer, you know, because uh, printer ink costs a lot of money, you can go to, you know, a Kinko's or Office Max or Home uh, Office Depot or something like that. But the only problem with that is, is you might run into some problems uh, because these are like copywritten images. Some people may not let you print them for some reason. Uh, I, I ran into a couple issues with that. I remember the last time I printed out some covers, I actually kind of told a little story. And I told the manager that I was making a collage. I was making a collage poster, and I was printing these out to put on a poster board. And for some reason, he was okay with that. So I was like, all right, that's cool. But you'll run into that problem. Just, you know, leave the place for a little bit. Don't cause a big fuss. Just leave a place until they're off work, come back and talk to someone new. Uh, I wouldn't advise going somewhere like the library to print these off because, you know, if you're printing off just 10 labels or 10 covers, you're you're gonna really piss some people off because it does take a lot of ink. So that's, that's definitely a con. It's gonna take a lot of printer ink. Uh, it takes a lot of time, uh, you know, getting cases. There's a couple places you can get websites. Uh, where we can go and get these different cases. I know DS cases you can order in bulk on eBay and Nintendo used to be able to order them but they've kind of changed it. But yeah guys, the coverproject.net is an awesome website for collectors who want to have uh, their displays a little bit better. You know, if you, you have those handheld games that are just in a, a bin, you want to actually display them or NES games, you want to have them like in almost like in rental boxes and have that nostalgia with that. So, what are some of your thoughts about this, guys? Have you used the coverproject.net? And if you have, tell me some of your experiences with it. Tell me how much you enjoy it. And uh, best of all, if you have some collections that you want to show off or you have a game room that you want to show off, definitely uh, check out the Access Gaming Podcast group page and post your pictures there. I will admit, I love watching game room tours. I love seeing game room pictures. There's just something about that that I really love. I love seeing someone who takes the time to make a really awesome collection. And plus, no one's collection's different. So, anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming. Can't get enough of Excess Gaming Podcasts? Be sure to check out the audio podcast on podomatic.com or you can also subscribe to us on iTunes. Also, if you have a YouTube channel or podcast you'd like to share, be sure to check out the Excess Gaming Podcast Facebook group page and join our community. All the links are below, and as always, guys, thank you so much for all your support.